Today inside Winnipeg City Hall, we're going to talk about a motion we put forward last week to the EPC committee for a decision. The motion uh, was specific to the budget process. We'll talk about why, what the motion included, uh, but first, these motions can be dis uh, agreed upon or voted upon by community committees and then they're sent up to EPC for budget motions. And it's no secret that we've been putting forward a budget motion in an attempt to start changing the way our system works because our system is not only fractured, it's beginning to hurt us. And the system is what we call a big mayor model. Now that means the mayor uh, selects EPC, but this mayor has added to that, so it's EPC plus two. It's a party system, quite frankly, because EPC plus two has nine votes and that controls city council. No matter what, if you look back on the voting, it's normally nine to seven. Not all the time, but most of the time, and certainly on contentious items that the mayor is trying to have implemented uh, and has somebody else do, and he just supports it, uh, is <laughs> passed in council by a vote of nine to seven. Now, that's the party system, that's EPC plus two, and that is what happens with the budget. Last year being my first budget, I realized it within moments of the budget not going, uh, of the budget being passed, sorry, but some of us voting opposed to it. The mayor immediately began a social media campaign saying, this many councillors voted for more transit. This many councillors voted to keep your transit rates frozen. This many councillors voted to keep your water rates frozen. That was a motion that I put forward and defeated at the SPC Committee for Water and Waste along with Councillor Schreier. But they made it sound like the rest of us voted against it. Uh, other examples, Councillor Lard, for example, when I was trying to have uh, free bus service for those wanting to vote on Election Day. Um, some other jurisdictions did it quite easily. Now, the mayor, of course, did not talk to it, but Councillor Lard did to the media, and he said, uh, I, we'll, we'll have to look into it, we'll have to debate it, but I'm not sure why, because Councillor Klein voted against uh, free transit service for veterans on Remembrance Day. That is not appropriate. Uh, but that is what happens. That's the engineered statements that go on, because that is in essence, well, they had free bus fare for veterans in the budget and Councillor Klein voted against the budget. Thus, he voted against veterans. And I wanted to put a stop to that. We've put forward many, many motions to try and, you know, zero-based budgeting, uh, open and transparent, doesn't matter. This one, I thought was fairly simple. Let me tell you why. This one says, we're not gonna vote on the budget as a ball. We're going to vote on the budget by department. Not line by line, but a department that is eliminating services, we can take out single items and say no or yes to that. And a department that's increasing fees, we can take out and say yes or no to that. So this motion was simple, I thought. This will just allow us to vote on each one. And really, what do they have to lose? They control the votes. They could have, they could let this through and still control the votes. EPC plus two controls the votes. So I want to show you what happened. First of all, we have to go and talk about it at EPC. And I got the same introduction that I always get. Take a look. Delegation today, Councilor Good morning, Councilor. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to uh, my colleagues I haven't seen since then. Appreciate the time. Now in this part, this is where I was giving my uh, information as to why and how this would be helpful and how it would be more fair and more open and transparent. They listened. At the end of my uh, session, I, I just sat there and the mayor said this. I think it's important for that clarity. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Questions, comments? Okay, not hearing any. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> No surprise, because uh, why ask any questions? Why have a discussion about it? They know best. Um, so it went to vote, and uh, here's what happened at the vote. Uh, report three is the uh, uh, motion, at least on the presentation of the budget recommendations. <coughs> would, we, uh, would we receive this as information? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. Thanks. Uh, and it's very uh, unfortunate because if you look around the table, I mean, Councillor Gillingham did support it at our community committee, but he said, and I quote, uh, I support it going to EPC. 
because EPC, I guess, is ultimately the, the uh, decision makers, sorry, EPC plus two, are ultimately the decision makers for the city of Winnipeg. It's not working. Uh, it's not effective, and it's hurting us now. We need to change the system. We need to talk uh, the talk and walk the walk, not just say we're open and transparent, we're doing so many things. It's time to change that so that we can improve Winnipeg, so that we can build Winnipeg back up to where it was several years ago.